I write this with a trembling hand, my mind plagued by memories too vivid to be mere dreams. My encounters with the shadow people began a few months ago, a time when I found myself slipping into a world between waking and sleep, a realm where darkness has form and intent. This is my tale, a series of sleep paralysis episodes that have left me questioning the very nature of reality. The first night it happened, I awoke, or so I thought, unable to move. My body felt like lead, each breath an effort. The room was bathed in an unnatural half-light, shadows seeming to dance at the periphery of my vision. Then I saw them, dark, featureless figures standing by my bed. Their presence exuded a malevolence that made my heart pound with primal fear. Unable to scream, I could only watch as one shadow leaned closer. Its form was indistinct, yet there was an undeniable sense of intelligence behind its black void of a face. It whispered my name, a sound like the rustling of dry leaves. My mind screamed even as my body lay paralyzed, and then... As suddenly as it began, the episode ended. I bolted upright, my room empty and silent, but the terror lingered. A week later, it happened again. This time, the shadow people were not content to merely observe. Paralyzed, I felt their cold, intangible fingers touch my skin. They moved with a deliberate slowness, their actions almost curious, as if they were studying me. One shadow leaned close, its presence cold and oppressive, whispering unintelligible words that felt like a violation of my very soul. The sense of helplessness was overwhelming. I strained against the invisible bonds holding me down, my mind frantic with the need to escape. In the darkness, the shadows seemed to multiply, their whispers growing louder, merging into a cacophony of madness. And then, with a suddenness that left me gasping, I was free. The shadows vanished, leaving behind only the cold sweat of fear and the echo of their voices in my mind. Over time, a pattern emerged. Each encounter was more intense, the shadow people growing bolder. One night, I saw what I believed to be their leader, a figure taller and more defined than the others. Its eyes, if they could be called that, were pits of darkness that seemed to draw in the very light of the room. It stood at the foot of my bed, watching, as if assessing my reactions. Unlike the other shadows, this entity did not move or whisper. It simply observed, its presence more oppressive and terrifying than anything I had ever experienced. There was a sense of profound malice in its stillness, a promise of something worse to come. I felt a deep, primal fear, a terror that went beyond the physical. The next morning, I found myself with a vague but unshakable certainty that the worst was yet to come. Sleep became a battleground. I started to dread the night, the approach of sleep bringing a sense of impending doom. My dreams, once a sanctuary, turned into twisted landscapes where the shadow people ruled. I found myself in places that were both familiar and alien, distorted reflections of my waking world. In one particularly vivid dream, I was trapped in an endless hallway, doors lining the walls. Each door opened to a scene of horror, rooms filled with shadows, their eyes watching me, waiting. I ran, but the hallway stretched on, infinite and unyielding. The shadows whispered my name, their voices merging into a chorus of despair. The shadow people began to leave marks. Waking from an episode, I would find bruises and scratches on my skin, evidence of their touch. One morning, I discovered a handprint, large and dark, imprinted on my arm. The sight filled me with a dread that words cannot convey. I sought help, turning to doctors and therapists but they could offer no explanation. Sleep paralysis, they said, a common enough condition. But the marks on my body told a different story, one that defied rational explanation. The line between dream and reality blurred, and I found myself questioning my sanity. 
With each encounter, I felt myself slipping further into madness. The shadow people were no longer content with watching. They began to communicate. Their whispers grew clearer, their words a twisted mockery of human speech. They spoke of things that chilled my soul, dark, forgotten secrets and ancient, malevolent beings. One night, I found myself unable to wake from a particularly harrowing episode. The shadow people surrounded me, their leader stepping forward. It reached out, and for the first time, I felt a tangible, icy grip around my throat. The pressure increased, my vision darkening. Just as I thought I would succumb, I awoke, gasping for air. The experience left me shaken, the memory of that cold grip lingering. The shadow people were not mere figments of my imagination. They were real, and they were growing stronger. Desperation led me to delve into ancient texts and folklore, seeking answers. I discovered references to shadow people in various cultures, entities said to haunt the spaces between sleep and wakefulness. Some texts spoke of them as watchers, others as harbingers of doom. The most chilling accounts describe them as beings that feed on fear, growing stronger with each encounter. Armed with this knowledge, I sought ways to protect myself. Salt lines, sage, and protective charms filled my room. I chanted prayers and mantras, anything to keep the shadow people at bay. But the encounters continued, unabated and unrelenting. The final encounter was the most terrifying. I awoke, paralyzed as usual, but this time the room was filled with shadow people, their leader at the forefront. It stepped forward, its eyes boring into mine, and spoke in a voice that resonated deep within my bones. You cannot escape us. We are your fears, your nightmares made flesh. We will consume you. The pressure around my throat returned, stronger than before. I felt myself slipping away, darkness closing in. In a final act of desperation, I summoned all my strength and screamed. A soundless cry that seemed to reverberate through the very fabric of reality. I awoke to find the shadows gone. My room bathed in the soft light of dawn. The marks on my body had faded, and the oppressive presence was no more. I felt a strange sense of relief, as if a great burden had been lifted. But the memories remain, a haunting reminder of the terror I endured. The shadow people have not returned, but I know they are out there, watching, waiting. Sleep is no longer a battleground, but a tentative peace has settled over my nights. I have come to accept that they are a part of my reality, a dark undercurrent that I must live with. My encounters with the shadow people have left an indelible mark on my psyche. They are a reminder of the thin veil that separates our world from the unknown, a testament to the power of fear and the mysteries that lie beyond our understanding. As I write this, I feel their presence, a lingering shadow in the corner of my eye, and I know that one day they may return. Until then, I will cherish each peaceful night, for I have seen the darkness that watches from the shadows.